be crazy today. Good morning. It is Thursday morning and I just got to school. We did not have school yesterday because we had snow. That's two days this week that we've missed and we don't have any more days in our calendar to miss. So I have no idea how we are going to have to make this up. I do know that they have mentioned having to go 20 minutes extra each day for the whole month of April. Plus we have, I think, three or four work days at the end of the year that they might be taking. But it's just frustrating because we never, it seems like we never have enough days in our calendar and we're always having to make up days at the end of the year or take days away from us. We absolutely have no work days. We don't have Good Friday. We don't have um, Memorial Day. Every early release just about has been extended to a whole day. We've lost like four work days at the end of the year and right now, um, before the two days this week are accounted for, we are in school till June 13th. So it's just frustrating, but um, I'm here and I only have about five minutes before my kids come in. I just purchased a um, some stuff on Ruby Bridges from Teachers by Teachers that I'm going to go pick up off the copy machine and look through it and see what I want to do with that today since we've missed two days this week and we usually work on a book for a whole week. I haven't had a chance to get anything ready for that. Plus we were supposed to have career day yesterday and we didn't. So what I did was I worked on a couple of videos yesterday. I watched like five or six episodes of Orange is the New Black. If you haven't seen that, it is like so addictive. It's very risque and it has a lot of stuff in it that I don't agree with. But overall, it's a pretty good show. So I'm gonna quit rambling and go get those copies and I will check back in with you guys in a little while. First grade. The next year after kindergarten. For 2016. Yep. Ugly pumpkin. It took me a hard time to make it. I made two because it's fun to make. And you get to play it and when you play it it's fun. Well, we've had a very productive morning this morning. I just sent my kids off to lunch. And I wanted to show you guys what I did this morning um, for, I guess, it was kind of our morning meeting, but then it also kind of bled into my lip block time, which was fine with me because I think it was very meaningful. But we talked about what a bucket feeling classroom looks like, sounds like, and feels like. And so my kids told me some of these things and then I came up with some of them with them um, so we did that and then we talked about how to be a bucket filler and how to be a bucket dipper and I had lots of participation this morning my kids seem to be really interested in talking about bucket filling and bucket dipping. And then we created this heart here. This was the wrinkled heart. It says, before you speak, think and be smart. It's hard to fix a wrinkled heart. And I wrinkled it up and showed them that when you say hurtful things to people, um, you can say you're sorry and it'll help a little bit, but you can't ever get all the wrinkles out. And then they made a commitment 
by writing their name on a band-aid and sticking it on here to try to remember to say kind things to people. So then we had our small group reading time and my group worked on vocabulary and fluency and timed readings. And then when they came back, we started um, doing the chatter picks of our instruments. And I have six iPads that I checked out, plus I have two of my own in the room. So I had eight kids, actually I only had seven because one of them didn't have enough storage. But they're doing their chatter picks on their instruments while others finish up their timelines and then we had to stop and go to lunch. So when they get back, we're gonna use that time to finish up timelines, finish up chatter picks, try to get them all done. And yeah, it's been a pretty good morning busy but productive and I'm feeling really good about today. So I'm going to go eat some lunch and I will see you guys during, well I'm not really sure because I think we're going to meet today since it's Thursday. It's our formal PLC day. So I'll catch back up with you guys later. The day is over. I just got back to the room. I had to go down to the library to do our North Carolina working condition survey today at 2.30. I just finished up and came back down to the room. This afternoon, y'all, my kids were crazy. Crazy. We were told last week that we cannot go outside anymore on our day that we have gym or PE. And so we have PE, like regular PE, every Thursday for our specials and we didn't get to go outside today and it is like beautiful. So my kids were stir crazy, we were working on math and then during our recess, we usually have math and then we have recess. Well during our recess time, I told my kids we were gonna go down to the computer lab and do extra math and then they were gonna work on this program called Type to Learn. Well, we clean up, we get all the way down there and there's another class. So we come all the way back up to the room and we get back out our math and after that it was just like the rest of the day was crazy and I don't know if it's because we couldn't get in the computer lab and so they were just like oh well we'll just be crazy today or what but um, we stopped about I guess 10 minutes earlier than we usually do because I wanted my kids to clean out their desks and wipe them down with wipes and um, so we stopped a little early to do that. Plus, I had to announce my terrific kid for the month of March. And then I sent my kids home. Oh, and I walked around and gave, I guess, six students a piece of candy that worked hard the whole time during math today because I wanted them to know that I was thankful for their hard work after the other kids just about drove me crazy. Oh, I had to send home two behavior reflection sheets today because one of my students, I repeatedly, at least five times, told her to go sit down during math because she was up walking around, talking to her friends, messing with things on the board, sharpening her pencil, doing whatever except her work. So I sent one home with her, and then another student from across the room yelled out to me, I'm not freaking doing anything, across the room. My, the rest of my class was like, oh! And I just, you know, I didn't even, I just told him he was gonna fill one out, and he didn't write the word that he used. He just said that he yelled out across the room, and next time he won't yell out across the room. So I think I might give his dad a phone call and just let him know how today went. But yeah, tomorrow's Friday, thank goodness. I've only been in school a day and a half this week, but I'm so ready for the weekend. I need to go make some copies. I need to look over my plans and make sure I am prepared for tomorrow. I need to do my newsletter because it's Thursday. I already have morning workout. I need to change the lunch and breakfast choices and the date. And I 
I guess that's all I need to do. I'm sure I will think of something else that needs to be done. Paisley's upstairs. <coughs> so I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can while she's up there. And then we're gonna head on home. So my kids made instruments for our sound project and these are some of the instruments that they made. They did a really good job on them. Look at this one. Fancy. And some maracas that look really cool. And then we have a drum and some wind instruments and some more maracas and this is really cool it's like a flute made out of pvc pipe so i was really impressed and then this one paisley's holding is a heart that is like a harp and it's got the guitar this is my favorite keys one. up here this one right here yeah so i was really impressed with those and like if you can i don't know if you can see it on the camera but if you look closely they spray paint it, they painted it pink, and then they spray painted red, because you can see how it blended in with the pink, and the pink got darker, and then it turned into red. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite part about it. I absolutely love it. For morning work, my kids are doing a 100 chart mystery picture, and once they finish, it will be Ruby Bridges. So that goes along with what we're doing for literacy this week. And I also have another craftivity that I found on Teachers Pay Teachers. My kids are going to make ruby bridges out of these pieces. And then they're going to write about a day in Ruby's shoes and how they would feel. But we're not going to do that till next week. But I went ahead and got all of that copied and cut out for that. And I'm getting my backpack ready. I've got lots of papers to take home to grade. I hung up my bucket filler and bucket dipper posters in our heart that we made this morning. So they can use that as a reminder. So we are going to head on out and get on home to have dinner and a bath and get ready for tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that yesterday is our last snow day this year so we can continue with the year and get out in June instead of who knows when. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Paisley's checking out all the instruments. I like this one. It's a balloon. Tomorrow's Friday. <laughs>